I'm Sir Tap Tap, and this is Driving Home. This is like a game where, well, you'll see in a second if this ever ends. Does, do I do I do I, Oh, okay, I started it. This is basically the hashtag 90s experience when you were a kiddo and you had a little video James unit here, and you got you got to watch. You can look out the window. Your dad's yelling, you know, get binoculars, look out, look out the frickin' window, you frickin' kid. We don't have any batteries. Shut up, dad. You're not, you're not my real dad. I mean, you are, but still. You know, the fun thing was, was we didn't have backlit. We definitely didn't have these, uh-oh, battery? Ba we need battery. Is this dog song? <gasps> He's real! He's real, guys! I always knew he was real! This is the true 90s experience. Your video game ran out. So you just had to imagine video games. Because obviously real life is super boring. There's just trees. And sometimes a mountain. Usually not a mountain, though. Honestly. I guess it depends on which part of the states you're in. I've been through mountain states. But most states are not mountain states. Rest in peace, Jane Boy. I like that you can still press buttons. He's like, yeah, you know, it's still fun. Uh, no batteries, please. But the one thing, I was hoping this would give, you know, the quintessential 90s experience of you're driving home at night. And obviously Game Boys did not have backlight, so what you had to do was kind of tilt your thing around and so the street lights would catch you, the thing and you would be able to see. It was, it was good. It was terrible. And you know, I was such a bad, like, car goings person. We actually had like this like portable TV thing. And this was before like... Everything was absolutely totally portable. So like, it was a, it was a, like CRT TV. I don't even know what the hell we had to power it. But uh, so I would just bring like my N64. And I remember I played like Pokemon Snap and stuff, and it was honestly pretty legit. I'm not even gonna ask why the left side of the car is just an endless white void, but you know, I just thought this would be a dumb little fun thing, you know, reminisce about them 90s and that awfulness. You, you kids these days, they don't know. They don't know the fun of this, of having like a garb. Honestly, the, the game, I don't remember really running out of battery. Usually it was just the can't see things situation or the fact that you have like three games that you haven't completed and then by the end of the trip, you have completed those games and you were super bored of them and just og. It's got a lot of trees, but there's a lot of the country that does not have this many trees or mountains to look at. There's, there's a lot of farms and just empty fields, honestly, is what I mostly remember. That good old heartland. These are some good frickin' clouds, by the way. I wish real clouds was like that. Good old dog man. Anyway, that's some just fun, dumb, reminiscent stuff. Sometimes you need a game to remind you of, of dumb things from your past, you know? Why is it left? I don't understand my father. He's... He does not speak in our common tongue. Darmok and Gilead of Tanagra. When the walls fell. So that's driving home. I'm, I'm a little disappointed that there's no, like, mechanic where you gotta look out, you know, try to ang angle it just right so the sun hits it, but not too much. That's another thing. You could get too much sunlight. That was totally a thing. And then you couldn't see anything, and it was just all washed out. Really enjoyable experience. But it was fine, though, because you were playing Pokemon. Anyway, that's, dri that's driving home. That's, that's for you youngsters that did not know the true pain. The true pain of our existence. Honestly, you probably know more of this pain. The dead battery pain. Because, like... You can't just pop more AA batteries into like a 3DS with its like 18 second battery life. <laughs> anyway.